What's going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed this Dunkelostius, wherever it is. I think it's like, yeah, it's like just down here. So, uh, where is it? Oh, this is it. So, we're gonna go ahead and name this guy. I wanted to name him Uncle Dunkel. So this is Uncle Dunkle. Even though you are a female, that's what you're going to be called, Uncle Dunkle. So yeah, I like how a lot of this series is basically aquatic-based. We have a lot of aquatic tames, and somebody did make a suggestion for, like, uh, a name for our whale, this guy here. And I think I got the perfect name for you. Hold on. I'm going to name you... Uh... Precious. There we go. You can be precious. Alright. So that's Precious, our whale. That just guards the base. But in today's episode, I would like to go ahead and tame ourselves the Vectaspinus. Now, with this guy, with this guy, he's a traditional knockout tame, which I love. Basically, you have to knock him out in order to tame him. But, you can't knock him out with traditional weapons. That means trank arrows and trank darts, out of the question. No. There's this special weapon you need to tame this guy. This is the Railgun. This is a gun made specifically for the Vectaspinus. I mean, I say specifically, and I don't know if it'll work on other creatures. I did hear that this is a little bit buggy. I was watching the Axeman's video, because, you know, he just tamed a Vectaspinus. But, apparently this one is a bit buggy. It only hits when it feels like hitting. Hello, Trike. How you doing? But yeah, in today's video, we're going to see if we can tame the Vectaspinus. So, the Gecko, I'm just going to leave you here. And as for Mufasa, I'm going to turn you into the shoulder pet. And then we're going to take the D-Arc out. And we're going to see if we can find it. But first, we need the kibble. Alright, now that we've got the kibble and everything we need, let's go out and see if we can find a Vectaspinus. Now, they usually like to spawn in the rivers. But I have seen them in the Volcano Islands, so maybe that might work. Like, the highest level I'm thinking is a, a 130. 130, no higher than that. Or no lower than that. Sorry. I should say lowest, not highest. So yeah, they like to spawn in these general areas. More, more towards the rivers. If you catch my drift. So yeah. We're going to go over there, and then we're going to see if we could try to tame it. I can shoot off the back of you, right? Yep, I can. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to go where the river begins, and then we're going to see if we can find one. Preferably a 130 or higher. So I'll see you guys once we get to the river. So basically, the ability that the Vecta Spinus has... It's basically a barry, uh, the spino equivalent of a Uterenus. Basically, it can do the same thing that the Uterenus can do, but with spinos instead of carnos. That's very convenient how the DR can swim. Alright, where's the river? Alright, just a little further down. Alright, so the Vecta Spinus. If I don't find them in the river, then we'll go to the Volcano Island, because I have seen them over there as well. Now, if this turns out to be relatively easy, then I'll go tame one that's the opposite gender. If not, then we'll just tame the one for now, and then maybe in a future episode we'll tame it, or whatever. Oh, hello, Quetzal. That's a 130 Quetzal. I'll tell you what. I'll leave you there, and we'll see if we could snag a Quetzal in a future episode. There's a Nothosaurus. That's a 140. 
Again, I will leave you there because I've got plenty of power generators. Max level would be great too. I don't know if the Vecta Spinus spawn in the swamps. Not sure if they do. Is that one right there? No, it's a Barry. That's the Nothosaurus. Alright. Let me continue searching, and if not, then we'll go to the Volcano Island. Alright. There's a Dinosuchus right there. What level are you? 100? Not the greatest level. We could definitely do better than that. Level 100. Okay, there's the Volcano area. Let's fly over there and see if we can find... That's a Spino. What level's that? A 15? Yeah, we could do better than that. I mean, I'd love to tame a Spino at some point, just not right now. We could do way better than a 15. There's another Spino, a level 25. We can definitely do better than that. Kill this 20 Rex, and we'll kill this 25 Spino. Because, you know, we can do better than that. Alright. Oh, nope, the game crashed. Alright, hold on. Uh, give, give me one second, you guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The game crashed on me again, so... We're just gonna kill these guys real quick. Luckily, I did save the game. So, when the game crashed, it was like... You know, I ended up where I lived up. And this time, I made sure that the mods were still activated. And sure enough, they were. All right, Raptor, bring it on. There we go. I'm gonna save it here, just in case the game does crash again. Every time we kill something, we're gonna save the game. There's a red drop over here, which I'm pretty sure wasn't there before. So yeah, it took me back before I killed those Rexes and whatever, and, uh, and that Spino. I think there is a red drop here. Yeah, there's that 25, or sorry, 90 Spino. Yeah, I think we ended up over there before the game crashed, so... What I might do is go a little further inland. I don't think that red drop... Yeah, it's not there yet. So you know what? We're not gonna bother with that. It could have really good loot, but at the same time, it could have really sucky loot. So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna go a little further inland. And then try to get to the other side that way. So there, we could try to, you know, see if we could find a Vectospinus on the other side. Because usually they are on the other end. I might go back for that red drop if it's still there. Alright, let me see what's in this yellow drop. Oh, sorry, blue drop. Let's see. Hey, an Ascendant Uranio Saddle. Nice. We're going to save that just in case the game crashes. Alright, I kind of want to see if I can get to that red drop before it disappears. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Let's rock it over there. And then I'm not seeing any of those... Unless we go up top a little. But I'm not seeing any Vecta Spinus, so... Maybe we might go back to the river and see if we can find one there. And then I'm gonna... Oh, let's see what's in here. A riot chess piece. That's all that was in it. Pretty terrible loot. I mean, if it was Ascendant, then maybe. So you know what? At this point, I'm going to save. I do see a Giga. I do see a Giga. What level are you? It's only a 25. But Gigas do spawn there. That's really good to know. It's only a level 25, so I won't bother with it. Alright, I think at this point we should just go back to the river. You know, let's just get out of here. Go back to the river. That's an Alpha Rex. What level are you? 135, of course. Should we take the Pyromane out and see if we could tame it? Not, well, not tame it, but like, there's another Pyromane over there too. Alright, the Alpha Rex is still after us. That's better. Much better.
Alright, what, what is it to flame absorb? Left control, right click. I think that does heal us up. There we go. We killed it. Alright, we got a 162. Nah, not as good. Alright, the meat, we can go ahead and... No, um... Let's just isolate that to raw. Drop the raw meat. You can keep the rest of it. Alright, we can go ahead and throw this guy back. Quick before the scorpion gets here. Alright. Alright, so let's see. Um, Where have we not been before? We haven't been here yet. Actually, you know what? What would be smart? I need to be big brain about this. Save. Just in case. Just in case. Now that I'm saving a bunch, the game probably won't crash. So, so yeah, I'm going to keep saving whenever we do a milestone, like kill that Alpha Rex, for example. What level is this Rex? Hello, max level male Rex. Is that a baby? You know what? Hmm. I will keep you in mind. I'm going to call it max level male Rex. All right. We're going to make that. I just want to keep this guy in mind. We're going to make it, like, orange. There we go. Done. All right, we're going to keep this max level Rex in mind. I would not mind taming this male. I wouldn't mind taming it. Just in case it has better stats. We have a max level female. It's a max level male that we need. Oh, there's a bunch of monos here. We got a 20, a 50, and whatever else. Okay, I think creatures are starting to spawn in, which is good. Let's see if we can find a Vectus Finus. All right, let's head back into that river thing just to make sure we don't miss anything. That's a Megalodon. All right, let's head back over here. Maybe we could find another one over here. I've given this place a little more time to spawn creatures and whatever. So maybe we could find one. Yeah, more creatures are beginning to spawn in, it looks like. So we shouldn't have a lot of trouble finding any. That turtle would have been convenient. Hello, Nothosaurus, level 100. I'm still looking for a max level. So that'd be good to know. Let me see if... All right, so the max level Rex is on that island somewhere. All right, I'm not seeing a Vecta Spinus anywhere around here. So there's only one more place that we could look. And that's the... That's the swamp. It's the only other place we could look. Really. Let me see what's in this yellow drop real quick. Oh. Okay, all right. We'll have to see what we got. A Mastercraft Uterrenus saddle. Yes, please. Mastercraft Quet Saddle, a Bron an Ascendant Bronto Saddle that's 69 armor, and an Ascendant Beaver Saddle. Okay, that that's really good, actually. Would there be anything over here? I mean, it's worth a shot. If not, we'll go to the swamp, but it's definitely worth a shot. Finally found one, you guys. It only took 100 million years. But it's a 135 female, which is good enough for us. So, we're going to have to land here so we can use the pyro main to try and knock this guy out. Alright, do you have anything good in your inventory? Nope. Let's go ahead and put you away. So now, I heard that this weapon is a bit buggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like it worked then... Oh, he only has like 4,600 total. Oh, okay, we got lucky here, actually. And down he goes. Kind of where... Kind of not where we wanted him to go, though. All right, you will tame with just the one. All right, so we're going to go ahead, put the kibble inside of you... And then, we just wait for this guy to tame up. So finally, we managed to find one. It was 
very hard to find one, but we did. And, uh, I guess I'll see you guys when this guy's fully tamed. And we'll bring it back home, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Vecta Spinus has been tamed. So, that was a 135, I think it was a female? Yeah, female. So we're gonna have to find a male if we're gonna get a breeding pair. But I'll, I'll, um, I'll do that in, like, another episode. Let's just get this guy home, because this episode has been long enough. So, I'll see you guys back at base, and we'll basically go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, and we're back at base. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, land you here. I'm gonna go make a saddle for our Vecta Spinus, but first we should look at your stats. Let's take a look. So you've had 35 points into health, 30 points into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 35 points into weight, 34 points into melee. So this guy is actually pretty good. We'll throw you out. So this is the Vecta Spinus, around the size of a Rex. I'd say not quite as large, but whatever. Alright. As usual, with you, Mufasa. Oh, Jesus. You just launched in the air. I was gonna say, as usual with you, great job. As always. I wish I could pet you. Whatever. Alright, let me go make the saddle for the Vecta Spinus. Alright, Vecta Spinus, let's check you out. So, what are our controls? Left click is a bite. We do 445 damage. That's not bad. What does right click do? Well, that's like the water breath. We were just giving him a shower then. That's pretty awesome. Does C do anything? Well, that's like a roar. That's kind of cool, actually. There we go. We got a little buff. Do we get a water buff when we're in the water? Alright, how fast are we in the water? Huh, not, not too bad, actually. Could be a little bit faster, but could be a little bit slower as well. So yeah, this is the... What's this now? Artillery saddle for something. Give that Protoceratops a shower. Alright, we've got 42 levels. Let's level up into health a bit. Get you up to, say, 50,000. The weight seems good. The stamina's good. Let's just put the rest of these moves into health. Or melee, sorry. Ouch! Yeah, that's better. That's way better. We should be doing a lot more damage now. We can give this guy a shower. That's awesome. So yeah, that's the Vecta Spinus, everyone. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. It might be up there with one of my favorite theropods. I know Vecta Spinus is a more recently discovered creature, but... Yeah, overall, it looks really cool. Alright, so let me just go over here. And then, with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.